Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Author, leadership, and team development speaker Joe Woodley with another key moment for faith. Thank you so much for joining me on today's broadcast. Coast to coast and around the world, I want to welcome you. Before we go any further, make sure you click on the subscribe button down at the bottom of the screen. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video, comment on this video. Share with your friends, your family, your neighbors, the guy down the street around the corner, and even your enemies, and they may just happen to become your friend. Also, take a look at the really awesome resources that are listed in the description box down below this video as well. Today, guys, I wanna to talk to you about uh, the dangers of promoting self-esteem over character development the dangers of promoting self-esteem over character development and some of you may be wondering what in the world does this have to do with being a christian it has everything to do with being a christian because for the past uh 30 or 40 years uh, we have predominantly promoted self-esteem over character education or good character good character development you know years ago i had a program uh called the hero project where i would go into schools and organizations that i promoted uh character education and what the attributes of good character look like and how to develop good character and i would deputize the students as being uh, heroes in their communities and you know i got to, i got to really dress in this really cool outfit i had a, a cape and spandex and a mask and all that stuff someday i'll have to actually show you guys what i look like i may even include it here in this video uh, but i got the opportunity to do those things and it was really really awesome uh, uh, but one thing I discovered or was finding was that there was such a major lack of uh, character development within youth and that they were growing up into adults who were really self-indulgent, self-focused, self-idealistic, uh, and just plain old selfish, not looking out for the betterment or what's the, what's the good of the society around them. And so that became a really important mission of mine uh, that would expand into me actually beginning to work with other entities uh, where adults were. Uh, and I found out very quickly that adults were a lot like just being big kids, you know, uh, and they were dealing with the repercussions of this focus on uh, self-esteem. Let me make this very clear. Uh, I don't have anything wrong with people feeling good about themselves. But the fact of the matter is you can feel good about yourself doing the wrong things. You can feel awesome about yourself doing the wrong things. And so if we're not promoting good character and quality education and developing people's focus on community service and being a good citizen and being a a believer of character and integrity and having them have a moral standards uh, you're going to have a society that is in dysfunction and decline which is what you're seeing in the society around us today a society that is in decline because uh, we're more focused on self-esteem self-indulgence uh, you know, even to the detriment of our families and our friendships and our relationships. Think about what goes on on Twitter with the Twitter mobs, uh, because we've so we've so bought into the message of self-esteem. Anything that does not align with a person's or a group of people's opinions, uh, with their desires. Uh, the mob jumps on them and attacks them. Anyone who sways from what would be the norms or the uh, most accepted opinions of the day, uh, they're immediately canceled in cancel culture. It's because we are so focused 
on self-esteem. Somebody needs to cancel, cancel culture, to be quite honest. And so these are the things that we're dealing with in our society. Character teaches that there is right and that there are wrongs. There are goods and there are evils. Character teaches you to look out for the betterment of your fellow citizens. I used this term in the last video I, I uh, put up, delay gratification. Even to the point where we may delay gratification because when I promote self-esteem over character, I don't develop the skills that are necessary to delay gratification. Here's another danger in promoting uh, self-esteem over character development. Let's be real here, folks. An unrepentant heart is a corrupted heart. An unrepentant heart is a corrupted heart. And so people that have unrepentant hearts, what is good they will view as evil and what is evil they will view as good let me pull up scripture here to back my point genesis 6 and 5 says then the lord saw the wickedness of man was great on the earth and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually so let's think about that the thoughts of man an unrepentant man are inherently evil the thoughts of an unrepentant man are inherently evil. They're inherently selfish. Uh, those of you who are parents completely understand as they get older, if they're not taught appropriate uh, character development skills, they're gonna continue in that behavior into adulthood. That's why you have to train your child. The Bible says train up a child in the way he should go and when he gets old, he will not depart from it. Well, that's what it's all about. You have to train up a person, train them in character, train them in, in what it means to have integrity, train them in walking in godly character and godly traits. But if you don't take the time to do that, you're going to be in some serious, serious trouble. Oh, here's another one that I think you guys really need to listen to. And this is so important. Jeremiah 17, 9 through 10. The heart is more deceitful than all else and is desperately sick. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind, even to give to each man according to his ways, according to results of his deeds. So again, you know, if you're an unrepentant person, your heart has been corrupted. You're focused on self-indulgence, self-esteem, self-image, self-desire, self-promotion. Your whole focus is on that to the detriment of the society around you. And so what we're seeing is the collapse of the society around us, even within churches. When churches promote self-esteem over character development, we compromise our moral authority. So guys, I just wanted to really talk to you really quickly about, again, the, those types of dangers, because we're seeing all sorts of anarchy break out in our society. We're seeing spiritual wickedness. We're seeing the not just the acceptance, but for the promotion of immorality. Uh, we see it on the news. We see it in our movies, it's in our media, and in some cases, even in many of our churches, we see the promotion of immorality, injustice, ungodly behaviors and actions and activities and God is calling on us to get it right and he's saying return to me that is the only way you're going to see true character development a true change of heart a true change of mind is when we make the decision when we make the decision to turn our lives over to the Lord when we repent of our sins we seek his face and we say Lord I don't have the answers I repent of my sins. I repent of my shortcomings. When we decide to do that, then things will begin to change.